I'm Susan Schofield, Executive Director of the Winter Park History Museum, and um, I probably should have spoken a little earlier. Um, first of all, I just want to thank Betsy and her group. That was an incredible presentation. And the hours and hours, I was kind of falling a little bit um, as they created, as they did their work, and it was amazing. So, um, I, well, a couple things I was wondering. Number one, um, at what point, just out of curiosity, at what point do you all discuss among yourselves what has been presented? We, yeah, we're, we're going to have a, we're, we're going to get, we have this information, plus we'll be getting the information from our consultants, um, and they will be coming in. We will be having a public meeting okay. for that. Um, the intent, I know, Lindsay, we discussed at the last, uh, board meeting, the intent is to have that meeting at an evening hour as opposed okay. to a day hour, so it opens the opportunity for more people to be present if they choose to be. Great. Um, so you'll actually talk about all the yeah. recommendations. Yeah. And, and, you know, in, in discussion, you know, I, I didn't know what was coming up here, but in discussions with Lindsay, and I think some of the discussions you have with the board, I think you're, we're going to find that our, some of the things that we've as we've, uh, we've already as Janine. Well, I've been at discussed. almost every meeting, <coughs> and I hadn't heard too much of this before. So. Well, uh, you know, it's. I think it was. You know, there's snippets here and, and there. And, right. And I believe what we will be seeing from the from the consultant will will dovetail quite nicely with with some of that. Uh, maybe I'm also confusing some of the conversations that we've had here in the meeting with conversations I've had individually with Lindsay. Oh, okay. You know about about elements of, of what she sees as, as you know from the consultants as potentially happening and such. Okay. So I think there's a I think there's a on a theoretical level at least there's a there's a very good or on parallel thought thought <coughs> on a theoretical level. On a, okay. On a theoretical level. It right. gets down to, you know, then it gets down to the sort of the meat and potatoes. I mean, quite honestly, right. quite honestly, um, the ordinance, the revised ordinance that we presented to the uh, sent up and went through the P and Z board for review and it was going back to the commission mm -hmm. um, two years ago. Yeah, two years ago, really? 18 months Trying ago. I mean, was it similar to some of the well, suggestions? Well, I mean, I'm going to tell you quite honestly, the thing that 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 put it that put brakes on it, if you want to put it that way, or or put in the biggest roadblock and speed bump was changes to the ordinance with regard to historic districts. Uh huh. I mean, everything else that we were doing uh, was, and you know, we were cleaning up a lot of stuff and dealing with it. That was probably the one thing that that created the greatest. Heartburn amongst individuals. Okay. So that was and about two why, years ago. Well, eight, two, uh, eight, two So we can look back and too. see what those suggestions were, right? Oh, we yeah. can be provided yeah, and think, then compare them to. Yeah, I think. What? Uh, okay. I'm think, just curious. Yeah. Okay. Um, In fact, I, you can even see, as I said, we were just about ready to resubmit it, and, and I think there's there's uh, with you know, pulling out some of the things that were. That we're, going to, we're creating an issue. Um, right. We had an updated review um, that probably is available to you. Um, okay. At this point in time, just well, that would be great. Um, I'd love to see that. Yeah. Zoning yeah. Yeah. And so okay. we, uh, we had that. Okay. Another question. Um, I think what they put so much work into this, and it's so well done, so many hours. I'm wondering, and I'm just curious whether or not it would be appropriate for this presentation to be made to the city commission. Um, it would really be, be up to the city manager. We can talk to Randy and, and, and see if the, we can the timing and, and so on. Put it on the agenda. Okay, so maybe Betsy could call Randy and yeah, see need if we could be coordinated with the work of the board. Um, and they okay. Want to coordinate everything. So, um, it's so well done that I think the entire community should have an opportunity to um, at least listen by phone and I mean, you know, listen by computer and. Um, my my only suggestion you know, would be is before that before you look at that, let's you know, 
let's look and see what our commit our consultant comes in because the last thing I think anybody wants to do is kind of confuse the commission with with a whole a whole bunch of process disconnected discover, uh, conversations. Um, you know, they're I don't yeah. Know how Using it well, <laughs> well, we we're on a time frame. We're on a time frame that we right. Commission Understood. And this is the clearinghouse for all of these things, and then they would move through us onto the commission. Okay. So we're thrilled to receive this. We place great value on it. We have addressed many of the items in here individually, not as a group. Uh, <coughs> you know, as a unified yeah. document. But and we have more meetings scheduled, so to to meet our time frame. Yeah. So they're looking for a report at a time certain. And, and my, our, our feeling is it just at this point in time, okay. I, 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 I think we want to we want to maintain a, a, I'm not saying that you can't present this and maybe even if you wish to send it to the individual, to the, to the commission and, and as a, as, as a written thing. I just, I just think multiple presentations from, uh, prior to this board making their recommendation may be confusing. Right, I understand. And I, understand. I you know, it, it kind of jumps the jumps the process. Right. Okay. Um, I think as I said, I think many, you know, maybe not all or not all of the specific elements will be addressed in the um, okay. in the in the final report. Okay. Because I think what we see here, I know in, in what I've you know I heard here at least per, on a personal level, has mirrored some of the thoughts that I've had with regard to this, okay. um, because you know we've we've seen now after nine years what's what's nine or ten years what the the ordinance how it works and, and where the issues are. As I said, we tried to right. we thought we were fixing some of those, but we kind of got solved. Right. Um, so, but uh, okay, uh, with those time constraints, when is the consultant coming in? Um, I don't have a date yet. Later this month, and, and okay. there will be an ample time that I can, can post it as a public meeting. And yeah, okay. So do you have a time frame for the commission presentation? We until October, but my director would, would is discussing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The other factor is... That's fine. I, I just wanted yeah. to make sure. You know, I just feel like this is so strong that, you know, and I just want to... And the Make other, sure that the public gets an opportunity to. Oh yeah, and, and I think the other issue is, you know, quite honestly, for even us getting on the commission schedule, is you know, is, is not always necessarily the easiest thing. Even if it is something that they they requested us to do, um, their meetings can tend to go very long, and um, they try to they try to divvy out how this this goes. So. You know, yeah, they uh, they have so much time, and, and I know the last time we had a presentation, they were anticipating it being about 20 minutes, and I ended up drone, droning on a little bit longer. So, <laughs> so okay, it it, uh, it gets, but I mean, I I am not, I, I would not hesitate to say if uh, you know to present your analysis to to Randy for distribution distribution to the commissioners. I mean, I'm yeah, that's a little different though. My point is that the public use it, I think. I think. But whatever, whatever, whatever works. Maybe, maybe that would be great to do a is it this this is a public meeting. These uh, everything here would be a I know, I know, I know. But I'm just I'm just talking about a regular commission meeting where, you know but it's fine. But but that would be great too to to paper format you know, PDF or whatever for the commissioners. I think that would be great. I think that's good. yeah, that would be great. And I, I don't know if there absolutely. Is a, I don't know if there is a process for for you know for getting on the on some element of the website something of this nature. I, I don't know, but maybe so. Maybe you have this on your website. Do you have this on your website? We can put it on our website. Absolutely, that'd be great. Idea. Yeah. I'm sure that's to do that. Okay, thank you so much. Excuse me. May I make a request? <coughs> Please, please, if you would come forward so we can yeah. pick you up on the report. Oh, I'm so, no, what? It's fine. <laughs> Maybe you'll ask my question. I was just wondering if you could give us a little more information about this consultant. Well, the, the consultant that we're using is the same consultant that the city uh, and the historic board uh, engaged about four years ago in anticipation of the downtown historic district designation for the 
for the National, uh, the National Register. Uh, they are a consulting firm. Their, their office, their, their closest lo local office is in Jacksonville, but they specialize in, in, in historic, uh, well, in planning, but also planning and, and the development of, of historic ordinances as well as in the development of historic uh, applications <coughs> for historic properties and for historic districts uh, throughout the, I guess you would call it the Southeast, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina. And, and they, and I guess I just don't understand what they're being tasked with. Okay. I, I mean, a lot of the, you know, some of the stuff that is done in this, you know, reviewing other ordinances plus looking at the, um, they, they typically do uh, surveys, so they have that information. They've written many of the ordinances that other cities in the, city, uh, in the state of Florida have used for historic districts. So, so they're they, going to write the ordinance. Pardon? They're, they're going to write the ordinance. Well, board. no, they're, 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 they're going to make, they're going to make, uh, they're doing an evaluation and a review of other other locales, um, you know, detailed, you know, probably this very similar to what the, what this, this committee did. I was just going to say. But, it. Yeah. but, but, it but they're, they're doing it, you know. For what? <laughs> well, no, yeah. but they're right. also, <laughs> but they're, do, they're uh, <laughs> but they're also going to, they're going to get in the weeds you know, with regard to this. I mean, this is a summary. I mean, they're they're provi providing us with the um, the the spreadsheets, the matrices, the, all of the things that would tell us, you know, so we can make the, the comparison. But we've started doing some of that. We've given them some of that information. I mean, it's it's the kind of thing that uh, uh, you know, is is involved, and, and then they will come back with uh, with some recommendations similar to these, but. Um, you know, based on their experiences, to you know, they, they get involved in the political. They realize what the political aspects are. And, you know, they you with regard to what's going to happen or what's not going to happen. What will, what you know, what is what is something that's that's doable. My my feeling is we you know you throw everything out on the table and you say, okay, what what do you want to do? Here are the tools that you have. I I don't want to sit back. I, I don't feel we should be necessarily sitting back. And um, and saying we want to take this particular tool off the table, uh, I think you know there are situations that we want to see and we want to solve certain situations, and we need every tool possible because the use of various tools in the uh, in the ordinance become policy issues. Um, that really something that really needs to go up the line to the city commission as to okay what. What do you want to see? How do you want historic the historic resources of the city of Winter, of the city of Winter Park to be protected? What what levels do you want to go to? So you're, you're not going to function really as an advisor report. You're going to function more as you tell us what you want, well, and we'll make that happen. Initially, it will be advising. We'll, we'll be saying, okay, if, you know, if you're looking for this, <laughs> this, and this. Here's here's what's out there. But I think the the, the real factor is. Is we we took the more proactive approach 18 months ago, and as a result, everything stalled. So, uh, so at this point in time, I think it's it's as important, if not more important, to to say, here's what your options are, but you need to tell us what you want to see, and then we'll we'll make it work. Uh, because we ultimately will have to work with that ordinance once once the ordinance has been written. Lindsay, what's the name of our consultant? It's Bland and Associates. Um, they've got a, a good website. They're, they're quite well known at the, the state level. They they deal with a number of grant projects, both for survey and inventory and National Register, and they also write ordinances, and including uh, the work that they've done on some of the ordinances that we've all been been looking at and, and you know, sometimes it's a good idea to have a um, fresh set of eyes that have dealt with the legalities of ordinances take a look and make some comments. And I need for you to, to read your name oh, and address see. into the record oh, okay. so that the recorder can find. I'm sorry. Pat McDonald, 2348 Summerfield Road, Winter Park. Yeah, and, and, and one last thing is is I can, I can say as, as a matter of course, uh, they provided some as I said, they uh, with both the Interlochen and the downtown uh, downtown historic district, they were our consultants with that. Um, 
they provided some some recommendations that you know I always say we chose to to not take into account, but they, they suggested that certain things might be a problem that ultimately were a problem, and um, you know we ended up taking going back and taking their recommendations. Or a, a case in point, the downtown district was supposed to be one larger district, and they said that there was going to be there were going to be problems with that, and there ultimately were, and so that's why we have two districts. We have a Park Avenue district, and we have the Interlochen district because. Uh, both on the state level and the federal level, they wouldn't accept this one big district because uh, of the dome at home. The dome at home, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so we're you know we have a very high comfort level with them because they have they even when we didn't necessarily always take their recommendations, they were they had a, a high level of uh, of, uh, of accuracy in, in what they were doing. And that's, I think you can tell there's a, there's a, a lot of interest. With the, oh. with the citizens, and um, we, we really want something that's going to work. The, the end result is going to be something that's going to preserve the things that are important to all of us, and I'm just hoping that this isn't just an exercise in futility. And, yeah. Oh, I, I would say... Know, I, I really hope that that's... There's, there's seven people at this table who, who feel the same way as you. Good. Right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I'm Amy Spencer. I live at 1509 Orange Avenue in Winter Park. I had a question. You said that the um, original thing about 18 months ago that you presented was stopped at PNZ due to some wording in the uh, district process. I'd like to know exactly what that wording is that caused PNZ to indicate well, to you that this wouldn't go. No, it was it, it was not PNZ who killed it. It, it was. It, we, well, somebody had to kill it. Well, we learned that it was not going to get. It, it would. It probably wouldn't pass at the, at the city or at the city level. And what part of it was the problem? You indicated that it was the, the district portion. The district I'd like to portion, know what verbiage in that was the problem. It was reducing the um, threshold. The the, re, the threshold for for designation of the district. Have they been advised or educated on the fact that from a national level recommended? Uh, at a national level is that it's 50% of the votes that are submitted should be counted if, if there are no votes not just if people just choose if they don't have enough civic mind to send in the form saying that they oppose the district then they clearly aren't interested enough either way to prevent the district from moving forward are they aware that that is recommended and is used in most other municipalities in the state has anyone provided them a matrix to indicate this is how other cities move forward with it. And then, in fact, in the town of Palm Beach, it is done without consent, readily. I, I, Most I, I, recently, actually in April, a house, and the, the couple came with three attorneys and opposed it. And Palm Beach said, hmm, too bad. Well, it's, it's relevant to this city, to this town, from an architectural and historical standpoint. So we feel it is relevant to preserve. If you don't want to live there, you're welcome to move. The, uh, Two, well, two things. Uh, at the last presentation I, uh, that we had, I did mention the fact that with regard to our current, current ordinance with regard to historic districts, it's sort of the uh, uh, passive aggressive's uh, best, you know, best ordinance because if you if you don't want to if you if you don't want to come out and, and not do something, you just don't do something, and it's equivalent to saying no. Um, so it and that's was, not recommended. No, at a federal or a state level. And we and we pointed out that that was the case. Actually, the results of our consultant study and the report that we get, that goes into the commission at this point is where we're all that is going to be finally documented with regard to what the process is in the various in, in sundry communities within the state of Florida. And I, I say the state of Florida because of the some you know land rights issues that are somewhat unique to the state of Florida, so you can't take any ordinance from another state necessarily. Right, we only study ordinances yeah. in this state. Oh, I, and I understand. And so, um, the, so... And so if you'd like a matrix of that, we're happy we're, to provide we're, it. We're, we're gener that is being generated as part of, uh, as part of that, whole, uh, that whole process. So, I, I'm going to tell you, there is a huge you know, it was, it's a huge 
as you may know at one of our meetings that we had here um, of evening meetings we had people from out of town coming in here talking yes about I realize that rights, but their you know. voice is not relevant on city I, oh, issues I, I city residents who elect our public officials should be the ones that are influencing public policy I understand that but I'm going to say that my understanding is also the fact that there are members of the Commission who and my question is, have you as a board worked to educate them that we are doing things different that's what and this, less stringent? That's, that's, that's what, what this doing. process is, and so that's what that's the next what element doing. is. Yes. So before this was stopped by PNZ and they told you this isn't going to go, you guys have met with the commissioners and tried to educate them? Is that? I had spoken. I, mm -hmm. I was at the PNZ meeting. We had a, I think, Five. I mean, I just, I'm really well, I confused. Say, we, had a five to one, we had a five to one vote in favor of the PNC meeting. A commissioner was at that meeting, and uh, in talking to him after, I could see that we were going to have a problem. And because, because of the one issue, because of that issue. And the whole thing that came up was, was one thing and one thing only, and it was property rights. And it was forcing people to put their property, to have their property put. But I'm not forcing. Place. I'm saying if you don't care enough to say that you don't want it, then you clearly don't care either way. Oh, I and that's that's my fault. I'm not saying force it. I'm not saying if you say no and you come and you say you don't want it, that we say stick it to you anyway. We're going to do it regardless. I'm saying the onus is on the negative vote, as opposed to the people who want to protect the resources that are in this city just not showing up and not participating it's like complaining about your elected officials if you don't vote if you don't vote don't complain well i the the ordinance as we wrote it at that point so you had one commissioner indicate to you oh, that they were not in favor of it i had one commission indicate to me but and that caused you all to stop moving no forward. no that wasn't it because we understood that there was that was not the only one from back channels and we understood that that was not the only one who had a problem. Do you still think that that not, might not would have been beneficial to have as part of public record? That it go to the city commission and let's see how they vote? It was not necessarily a decision of this, well, I shouldn't say that. It was a decision of this board not to go ahead, but it was a decision of this board not to go ahead because we felt that we could make the, make the appropriate Take it in a but we're step almost by two step years process. later, and we're still having this discussion. I well, think we expediency in protecting what's left of this town is somewhat important, and there are very few minor things that can be done to do that. Well, as I said, in, and in, in two years we've lost a lot. We've lost a lot of ground. I'm not sure if it was May or June. We were we were poised to put the, the revised ordinance back to the city commission, and with this issue it just shut everything down i mean so and we i understand lost, i understand you we guys were involved in that you, uh, it has no. nothing to do with you. what i'm saying this addressed to you or brought to you and i don't certainly fault you for it you have nothing to do with it but you i approved saying, it designated done when but, when the ordinance when the situation occurred created the issue with the city commission it stopped the process so we've been four months four or five months since that from the time that we were we were ready we were in fact we had it on the schedule mm -hmm. to, to pull the trigger to send it to the city commission <coughs> when that when that happened and the city commission said no we want you to look at the whole ordinance we want you to do all of this other stuff but the, it stopped. It been sitting still how many meetings have we had yeah. the presentation before yeah. the commission we, i mean we're working but as, as we speak, we have I'm not been saying that you're not. I'm just time. saying that we're so losing valuable we're all, time. Well, and, and we're toward that end. We appreciate what you did and what you've made available to us, and we're working toward this deadline, which is quickly approaching. I mean, have so any of you all contacted before. other municipalities, other planners, other historic yeah. preservation we officers do, in your yeah. own we do personal this, time? We do that this. That was group. my task. And there is a report, a draft okay. report, that will be going to the commission, so they have that information. Okay. But this is this is what the board was directed to do. That the, the board is following the process because typically, as I'm sure you know, 
boards don't craft ordinances on their own. We respond to policy decisions by the city commission. The city commission is. But are they counting on this board to be an expert opinion? The to provide them advice and education on yes, they are. best practices. They're yes, they are. That's why the, the process was created for this board to follow. And this is what the board has been doing step by step and staff so that there is a comprehensive recommendation then to the city commission. They'll provide recommendation back to the board and the ordinance revisions will be made based on those. Our first, our first report to the city commission basically just was a basically to compare and contrast the city, uh, a, a local historic designation process and, and ordinance structure with the Secretary of Interior standards and, and structure. So what's the difference between a Secretary of Interior's designation and a local designation? And that was the first presentation that we made. It was a very on sort of a high level type of thing. At that point, we, we brought out that, you know, because it's local, every town, every town and community is different, and they're all based on, on what they're considered the local standards of, of what they want, uh, of what that community feels is appropriate. Um, this ordinance was, was drafted back in 2002 based on what was appropriate and what was achievable at that time. Um, we've, as, as I said, we've come up, we've, you know, we've had 10 years of experience with that and we know what the problems are and what the, and, um, and what the issues are. Um, and at this point in time, now we're, we're having to, you know, we're looking at it again. And we're going to look at it again in comparison with the other communities and say, okay, this is what we've done. This is the successes, and this is these are the failures, not the failures, but these are the less the levels of success that we've had with regard to that. Um, and here's other communities, and, and hopefully we're going to have some sense of what their successes and what their levels of success have been with regard to that as well. And. Then we can, you know, present. We'll be presenting that to the board and saying, okay, here's where we can improve. But we can only improve in certain areas if it's the nature. If on a policy level, the city wants that to happen. I mean, we can present it to them and say, this is what you want. And this, if this is how what much you time want. will there be between your presentation and the city council meeting for individuals who have interest to meet with commissioners on a scheduled basis and the mayor? to attempt to discuss with them their feelings on it well, I'm a, I'm a and make sure that we understand their perspective, whether it's for or against, and make sure they understand our perspective as well I would, as residents. I would personally, I, I would say, at least on, on, on my own understanding or personal level, that, that it would be, you know, the, the presentation is made to the city commission. I don't expect that we will be getting for lack of a better term, any kind of immediate orders is to do, to, you know, of all the things that they want us to do because it, it, it's probably going to generate some discussion. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that it's a presentation is not necessarily a, a discussion or public hearing point. So I would think you would have you know, several weeks okay. in which to, to, um, to make that, uh, you know, I, as I said, I, I doubt whether we would be getting something immediately that same day. I would be highly surprised if we were. Okay. Because, as I said, you know, part of it is going to be questions. Okay, what do you want? You know, you know, what what are the elements that you want to see in this, and what or what are the goals that you want to achieve? I think it's probably a better way because it's a more policy or you know, driven you know, okay. state. <coughs> Okay, and then after this, this will be okay. the end. Yeah, and I'll be, I'll be short. Um, Sally Flynn, 1400 Highland Road. Uh, just a couple of points. Um, Randy, I heard you say something earlier, and I hope I don't quote you incorrectly. You said to see what it is that the commission, the city commission, would like to have happen. To me, it's what the citizens, we elected them, and they need to go and find out what the citizens want to have happen as far as... No, you don't need to answer that. But well, no, I was going to say I, I I agree. I mean, but they are the they are, they are the elected representatives of the citizens, and and it, you know, 
they are the governing body. They're, they're the ones who ultimately will either endorse or, or right, or right. And not endorse. so, in, in endorsing, this is one point I'd like to bring up: the historic districts. I have heard several of the commission commissioners say in an earlier meeting they don't understand the value of historic districts. All I'm asking you is to make it give a really good pitch for historic districts. And the biggest thing to change in that ordinance is the 15% to move one forward and the 50% nay vote to have it not go forward. Those historic districts are the way we can salvage our city from further damage. And I really ask you to send something very positive to them so they'll understand it. Thank you. Anything else? Uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? I move we adjourn. Second. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.